Can you name two ways that this radiator makes this car faster? Can you guess? All right, so the first one is probably pretty easy. This Cayman from the factory only comes with side radiators. These radiators over here and over there. This radiator is an add-on for the Cayman S. It normally does not exist here. Normally there is nothing here for cooling. By adding this radiator, what we're actually doing is allowing our coolant temperatures to stay cooler longer. What that does is it reduces the engine temperature, which then creates more power because the cooler the engine can run, the more power there is. What ends up happening is once the engine gets heat soaked and the whole engine compartment is really hot, air coming into the air intakes is also getting really hot and that starts to create detonation in the engine. Knock sensors detect that detonation and they pull back on timing and reduce the power. So as you start the car out on the track, it actually feels livelier and faster and as it runs around the track longer and longer and longer, the heat starts to bring the power back more and more. So by the end of the session, uh, the power is significantly lower than when you start off. Then that's also true for the beginning of the day as opposed to the end of the day as it gets warmer. Uh, so that's one way. But what's the second way? Did you figure it out yet? What is the second way this radiator makes it faster? It's this came in because it doesn't come with a radiator from the factory. When you add it, there's two ways to add it. One is position like this. I'm going to use this as a demonstration of a radiator. So you can have a radiator that's tilted down like this. So what happens is air passes through here and because the radiator is tilted down, the air will pass through and go down and out of the bottom of the car. So it actually comes out over here. The other option is to put the radiator up like this so that it's tilted forward at the top. And what that does, and you can see that that's how this radiator is positioned, and that then takes the air and forces it up. But where does that come out? Up here. So there's a passage, there's actually an air dam. GT4s will use an air dam that will take that air and scoop it up and over the car. So now air coming in in front of the car is now gonna make its way up and over. And that's gonna create more downforce because you're gonna have more pressure up top, low pressure area at the bottom that's gonna suck the car down. That's gonna make this car faster around the track because it's gonna have better grip. All that because of airflow. And it actually makes a noticeable difference. You can't just put the radiator there like that. You do need to have all the air dams that does not allow this air to escape and only allows it to come out over here. And then, so air comes in, goes up and over the car. And that creates more speed.